It's the Weather Extreme video. This is for Thursday evening, December 17th. I'm James Spam. Alabama's weather turning colder as the weekend approaches. It's going to feel like Christmas finally. Check it out. That's the water vapor satellite view, the trough that brought the rain last night, moving on to the east and drier air working in. That's the visible satellite view. The sky mostly clear now, basically north of a line from near Mobile to Montgomery and Roanoke. A few patchy clouds from Birmingham north and east. All of those clouds dissipate very shortly and will be clear and cold tonight. And look at that. Yes, indeed, it's colder. Cullman 49 at mid-afternoon. Birmingham only at 51. And we'll expect the load down in the low to mid-30s tomorrow morning. Around the nation, very cold air for parts of the western and northern states. And again, we'll be in that chilly air tomorrow, Saturday and Sunday, with uh, temperatures at or below freezing each morning. On the watch warning map, pretty quiet for much of the country. The big issues back in the far northwest, winter storm warnings for parts of Oregon, Washington, and Idaho. Here's the rain for the next five days. Valid through Tuesday evening of next week. Rain amounts here uh, between one and two inches. And again, the weather right before Christmas looking rather unsettled. So let's take a look in modeling. This is the GFS, the 12Z run, valid tomorrow at noon. Big trough in the east, a nice cool air mass. Uh, bright sunshine, the high only around 50. In fact, some spots could stay in the 40s all day with a pretty good north breeze to make it feel colder. Saturday, we start the day down in the upper 20s. The high Saturday afternoon, low to mid 50s, bright sunshine with a 1034 millibar high, just about right on top of us. Sunday, once again, Sunday morning cold. We start the day below freezing. The high Sunday afternoon around 60 as we start to warm up a bit. The sky will be sunny. Monday, moisture comes back. We'll bring in the chance of a few rain showers Monday. We stay in that soupy, unstable air through midweek. This is Tuesday. A chance of showers, maybe a thunderstorm. And Wednesday, December 23rd, again, that's a little troubling here in uh, the core of the uh, late fall tornado season. A surface low near Tulsa. Moist air mass in place and unstable air moving in from the south. And again, as we've said, it's way too early to be specific. We can do that uh, over the weekend, but clearly there's a chance of strong to severe storms beginning Wednesday. And this is Thursday, Christmas Eve, troughing negative tilt to the west, and the storms begin to push out. And, you know, the timing could radically change. We might see a chance of storms well into the day Thursday. Maybe they'll end early in the day. Just we, we can't identify that yet. But again, the, the screaming message here, just be aware we could see a setup for strong to severe storms Wednesday, Wednesday night, maybe into Thursday, Christmas Eve of next week. Travelers beware. And then Christmas Day, the GFS, very persistent in the idea of a drier air mass dropping in here. And if that were to be correct, we'd see highs in the low 60s and lows in the low 40s. Not too far above average for this time of the year. Here's a look at the anomalies. Again, if you're looking for really cold air, Christmas Day. The northwest United States is the place to be. Temperatures way above average for the northeast, and this is the projected snow cover Christmas morning off this run of the GFS. And again, obviously nothing happening here. And look, even in non-El Nino years, the chance of a white Christmas here is less than 1%. This is the end of the forecast period, December 27th, the Sunday after Christmas. And again, we're back in that moist air. And that would suggest a chance of showers and storms. El Nino winters, as we have talked about since August, they tend to be relatively mild, relatively wet. And, of course, we'll have occasional cold shots, and the cold air tends to be shallow when it gets down in here. Temperatures off the ensembles, low 70s perhaps, uh, Christmas Eve. And, again, you know, if you take the deterministic data, it would be a bit cooler Christmas Day with highs back in the 60s, but obviously no sign of any Brutally cold air, and uh, this weekend should be the coldest air we see more than likely for the rest of the month and the year. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can't catch us this evening on the live stream or the television side, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless.